A heartbreaking discovery tonight. The vehicle, a missing father and one-year-old daughter were in, was pulled from Delta Waters. Their bodies are now ID'd, and their family is asking for answers as authorities investigate what led to their deaths. I won't have closure until the Lord reveals the truth. Good evening. I'm Steve Large. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is in Isleton live tonight with a family's devastating loss. Macy. Well, Steve, just about 90 minutes ago, we all watched right here as the, the tow truck took this car out of the water. Now it's on the tow truck, getting ready to go to the impound lot. And when I talked to CHP, they said they were going through it, trying to find any details about what may have led to this car going into the water. A heartbreaking discovery after a long week of wondering what happened. It's taken an emotional toll on the Jackson family who've now lost two of their loved ones. I can't eat. I cannot breathe right because my baby, I found my baby yesterday. He's 23 years old, but he's my baby. A mother trying to wrap her head around losing her son. Six days after Kyler Jackson's family last saw him, Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies pull his body from the Georgiana slough. I can't even allow my body to feel the frustration. I keep holding myself right now. And less than 24 hours after they find her son, divers pull another body from the water. Sacramento County Coroner's Office confirms it's Kyler one year old daughter, Kaylee. Now the Jackson family turns to investigators looking for answers. I'm standing just a few feet from the water. Kyler's stepfather pointed something out to me. If you take a look at this grass, it's still standing tall, but just to the left of it, it looks like something could have rolled over it. And that's a sight he finds very troubling. As darkness looms, the investigators scramble to figure out how to pull the car from the water. And just after 8 o'clock, Kyler's silver Ford Taurus is dragged out of the slough. I'm glad that I see the car because that was a problem. His mother, Carla Jackson, tells me what she hopes investigators find when they examine the car. That my son did not drive into the water willingly. She says she can't understand why her son would have driven this way on Andrus Island Road, especially since he knew the drive from Antioch to Sacramento so well. He would have never driven down that road. That's, that's the first thing we have to establish. She wishes now that the search had begun much sooner, but looks forward to hearing what investigators find out next. I wait for the Lord to reveal the truth, and then I can have my moment of closure. And Carla. And Carla told me that she really thinks the investigation should have started sooner. She hopes that they could have started looking for them a few days earlier, but she's still looking forward to seeing what investigators have to say next. Well, that pair missing for about a week or so, you can certainly empathize with the Jackson family and what they must be going through tonight. All right, thank you for that very much. Macy Jenkins live in Isle 10.